Masters of Wisdom Speak on the Ascension. The Bridge to Freedom Journal, January 1953. Lord Maha Chohan. The journey of the spiritual self through the world of form represents a long and variegated series of experiences which in time allow the consciousness to absorb enough wisdom and become master over the qualification of enough energy to meet the cosmic law's demand. Such a one is then graduated from the evolutionary chain and allowed to function in a more perfect sphere of expression according to the voluntary choice of the individual. The graduation of the life stream from the necessity for re-embodiment is the ultimate achievement toward which all students upon the spiritual path aspire. At the solemn hour of the ascension, the life stream faces a great decision as to what its future service to life will be. The few who choose to renounce the full happiness and freedom of the cosmic heights to remain as the guardian brothers of the race from whence they have ascended, enter the ranks of the great white brotherhood and assume the responsibilities of some great intelligence who has volunteered to perform a specific service until some member of the race might develop sufficiently to take over such an activity. The Brotherhood is constantly looking for such material, and when even one such individual is found, the guidance, training, and preparations for the development of the life stream to a point where it may be vested with more than ordinary powers is indescribable to the human mind. Ascended Master El Moira During the course of centuries of time, each life stream who has embodied on the planet Earth has developed certain definite talents and powers of accomplishment through the voluntary investment of life energy to specific interests. This is known as a momentum of healing, teaching, musical or artistic genius, as the case may be. It is an integral part of the life stream's harvest, woven out of the energies of the heartbeat, and is the only heritage of human endeavor which is allowed entrance into the higher spheres and which ascends with the consciousness at the moment when the earth pull is released from the soul at the close of the final incarnation. When the lords of karma examine the individual for the last time preceding the ascension, the fully gathered momentum of the life stream's service to life is presented for consideration before the karmic board. If the life stream is found ready to be freed from the will of birth and rebirth, the disposition to which the individual puts his gathered momentum of service must be made before the actual ritual of the ascension takes place. Ascended Master Kathumi When the Christ self of the individual signifies to the cosmic law that the individual is ready to be released from the chain of birth and rebirth, the sponsor secures a hearing before the karmic board whose duty and responsibility it has been to weigh the strengths and weaknesses of the soul through all the centuries that preceded this development. The individual's book of life is examined, the life stream itself has audience before the karmic board, and the ascent of this board is requisite to the freedom of the soul from further re-embodiment. Because of the exercise of free will, the individual may, however, refuse to accept its freedom, preferring to reincarnate to further some particular cause to which it has devoted its energies through many centuries. If such a one does refuse to accept the ascension, 
It is always with the clear understanding that such forfeiture makes the life stream personally responsible for the creation of any future karma that might enchain the soul again and thus not allow the opportunity for full freedom when and if the soul should change its mind in the future. Ascended Master Venetian Individuals who have been offered the ascension because they had expiated their individual karmic debts and had gained mastery over energy and have renounced that freedom to better serve mankind are among the holiest sons of heaven. They wear upon their foreheads a spiritual identification in the form of an open lotus that is easily discernible to all whose inner eye is developed. No other group of beings, human or divine, have this particular spiritual mark, and wherever they are encountered, the supreme intelligence of the universe bows in acknowledgment of their presence, their sacrifice, their love. When these individuals do finally accept their ascension, this lotus is amplified, and even in heaven's highest spheres, it is a permanent identification of their love and service to life, that all who run may read. Ascended Master Serapis Bay After the individual has appeared before the Lords of Karma, and they have accepted his readiness to graduate from the Earth's sphere, he must signify after deep and sincere meditation as to whether his Christ self chooses to avail itself of this opportunity, or whether there is more to be done in the world of men. Those who remain after their karma is expiated, like the Master Jesus, belong to the sainted order of the lotus flame. Those others stand at a forked pathway, where again the individual free will must make the decision as to whether the life stream taking the ascension will pass on into the comparative peace and happiness of the higher spheres, or remain as an active worker in the Great White Brotherhood in actual contact with the lesser evolved sons and daughters of Earth. Those who choose the bliss of Nirvana turn over the energies within their momentums of healing, musical accomplishment, or whatever the case may be, to divas who incorporate those energies in the beautiful fire temples whose radiation and power serve the earth and its peoples and they really will their heritage to mankind, but take their own conscious selves into realms that no longer have any connection with the struggling lives on the earth plane. Ascended Master Hilarion after countless centuries of bondage, you can well image the joy that is experienced when the fetters of earth, the limitations of the flesh, and the veil of forgetfulness are once and for all removed from the life stream. To attempt to describe those first instants of eternal freedom is as futile as to attempt to put into finite words a suitable description of the personage of the Godhead. Suffice it to say that at the very instant such freedom is experienced, the life stream is immediately faced with a free will decision as to whether it shall soar upward into the cosmic heights of peace and happiness, or with the glow of freedom still fresh in the heart, turn again to voluntary bondage and centuries of endeavor with the limited consciousness of mankind through some office in the Great White Brotherhood. It is no wonder that few choose the sacrificial road, and that the many leave their momentum of good for the race, but choose individually to be free of any more of its personal karma. Ascended Master Jesus When the soul is passed by the karmic board, and the karmic debt is balanced to life, if the individual chooses to accept further incarnations, he does so at his own peril, because he must submit, as do the volunteers from other planets and systems, to the same natural laws that bind every incarnate spirit. From within an embodied form, there is always the possibility of misusing energy or creating new karma in a successive life, which would become a fetter not to be waved aside by the karmic council, but which must be mitigated by the self-conscious endeavors of its creator. 
Thus, oft times an individual who has been offered the ascension and renounced it for service has not been able to qualify for that ascension for as many as twelve embodiments thereafter. It is not an easy decision to make. If, however, the life stream does take incarnation without sin, as I was privileged to do, and succeeds in passing through an entire earth life without succumbing to any temptation to misuse energy, such a one may accept the ascension at any moment during that earth life. This was what made my cosmic example possible, for through the great mercy of life and the assistance of the Lord Maitreya and others of the celestial host, I was enabled to keep my life stream ready for the instant when the cosmic call of the presence could be made, and I self-consciously answered it through the public manifestation of the ascension. Ascended Master St. Germain If the individual chooses to accept the ascension when offered it by the cosmic board, it is then up to the presence of such a one, together with the particular sponsors of the life stream, to work out the details preparatory to that beautiful ceremony of drawing the purified consciousness into the Christ estate. Many factors are considered, and every natural assistance is provided in the preparation of the place at which it is to be accomplished. In my own case, it was several months after I had passed the final testing before the karmic board, until I was enabled to finish up my affairs and retire to the home of a beloved friend in the heart of the Transylvania Mountains and prepare for this ultimate experience of earthly victory. Here I was joined by my spiritual teacher, and at a given instant at the call of the presence, I left the arms of my dear friend and with the help of my teacher, entered the realms of perfection from whence I shall ever strive to assist my brothers and sisters who yet remain on earth until they, too, experience the happiness and peace of this victorious accomplishment. What will it be like when you call my name? to face. 